and a very warm welcome to all of you. We're excited to be here to share our research findings with you. But just before we dive in, I want to give you a quick context and a preview of all the things we'll be discussing today. So when we started our research project three months ago, we were motivated by the growing recognition and acceptance for mental health that has slowly taken place in the last few years. We're seeing more and more employees and leaders talk openly on different platforms about their mental health challenges. And coincidentally, some of the organizations that are joining us today are observing Mental Health Awareness Month throughout May and using this opportunity to tackle the stigma around mental health. So given all of this positive attention, this is a significant moment for HR to leverage the visibility to build momentum and create sustainable impact. So with this focus in mind, we'll spend the next few minutes just briefly going over the research methodology, and then we'll discuss some of the interesting findings that came up in our interviews with the CARS partner companies. In our second section on the key findings, we'll first discuss the opportunities for HR leaders to focus their efforts so that they can create quick impact in the short run. These opportunities are focus areas or playbooks where solutions are both easy and quite practical to implement. And after that, we'll dive into longer term challenges, which include systemic issues. And these are issues where individual companies have limited control. So in our understanding, the long term challenges are distinct from the opportunities because they require greater resource investment and extensive collaboration to achieve measurable results. And even though a straightforward solution might not be apparent, HR leaders should be cognizant of these long-term challenges as they design their well-being strategy for the future. Finally, we will discuss our recommendation, which is called the 3P framework. It's an original forward-looking framework focusing on three pillars of prevention, personalization, and promotion. This framework is our interpretation of what a proactive approach to well-being should look like in the future. So going forward, we'll spotlight only the main insights and takeaways for each section. And if you're interested in the background or more detailed analysis for any topic, you can go back and read our white paper, which is coming up soon. We'll be taking questions during the webinar, so please send us your questions through the chat box. Right, so to better understand the evolution of our well-being strategies, we conducted interviews with 23 CARS partner companies across industries. Our 33 participants were global HR leaders with expertise in compensation, benefits, and wellness programming. We followed a structured interview process, which means that all participants were asked a standard set of eight questions with different types of follow-up questions depending on the company we were speaking to. We analyzed the interview data using qualitative research techniques, and we began to uncover some interesting findings. 